Hey everybody, it's Rob with Cherry City Guns and Ammo, and today we're shooting a Barrett 50 BMG. Stick around. Yeah, so uh, the Barrett 50 BMG. More specifically, this is a Barrett M82A1. Uh, this is like the first iteration of the Barrett Semi-Auto 50 BMG. Uh, 50 BMG, the BMG stands for Browning Machine Gun. Uh, John Browning developed the round to originally be chambered in the uh, M2 or the Ma Deuce uh, 50 caliber machine gun. They decided it would be good for a uh, another application which somebody could carry and, and use for like anti-equipment uh, vehicles machinery radar um, different things like that um, this is definitely a lot more than you would want to <laughs> use as a battle rifle against other combatants it's so heavy uh, it's it's like 27 pounds but it feels a whole ton heavier than that i couldn't imagine shooting this offhand the weight is incredible um, 27 pounds it really that doesn't doesn't seem right but it is um, probably because a lot of it's out front, so it really just wants to drop the end down. Anyway, and this is not my gun. This uh, belongs to a friend of mine that was generous enough to let me come and shoot it. This is like an $11,000 rifle, and that's uh, beyond my budget. Luckily, I've, I've, I've got a good friend that was uh, generous enough to let me come and play with it for the day. And uh, we're going to blow some stuff up. We're going to see what this uh, big old 50 caliber can do. This is the magazine for it to give you an idea um, that looks massive but luckily this fits with uh, YouTube's new terms of service for monetization because that's only a 10 round mag that gigantic ammo box only holds 10 round and it's because these are the rounds these things are just huge these are like 660 grain projectiles that it shoots um, and it shoots them at like I think it's around 28 2900 feet per second so very similar to the velocities that you'd see of like a 30 out six hunting rifle but you're getting that velocity in the 36 or 30 out six hunting rifle with like 180 grain bullet not a 660 grain bullet so the amount of kinetic en energy delivered by this round is many times greater than that of like a 30 out six which is nothing to, to sneeze at and everything that we're shooting today is just full metal jacket it's very kind of general like target or, or just shooting ammo um, it's not some of the specialty ammo that's made for the 50 BMG. They make all kinds of crazy stuff for different reasons. Armor piercing, incendiary, armor piercing, incendiary, tracer rounds, all kinds of crazy rounds they make for this gun. We're just shooting full metal jackets and seeing what we can do. Um, and I can tell you it's, it's kind of intimidating getting behind this thing when you first come up to it, uh, especially if you watch somebody else shoot it first because you just go, oh my gosh, that must be just unreal recoil wise, but it is surprisingly soft to shoot. Um, there's many things that make it a soft shooter. The weight for one, um, the other thing is this massive artillery style muzzle brake. I mean, that's just kind of like a dialed down version of what you see on big artillery guns. Um, and then also, and I don't know if I can do this by hand, but the barrel actually recoils actually pushes back into the gun when it fires and that's part of the the recoil um, absorption capabilities of this gun and uh, it, it does a phenomenal job and uh, yeah so we've got uh, a loophole scope on there and it's just a lot of fun to shoot um, let's uh, let's shoot it some more let's blow some stuff up we've got a bunch of really cool targets that we're gonna we're gonna shoot so I guess we'll get to it all right, first up, downrange, we've got a two liter of soda because you got to shoot a two liter of soda with every caliber and see what it does. Let's go down there and take a look. Okay, well, I know the chances are between slim and none 
but I really, really, really want to try to catch one of these bullets. Um, we, so we've got like 10 one gallon milk jugs down there full of water and we're going to try it. Like I said, it's, it's pretty doubtful. I think it's probably going to end up veering off at some point. Uh, but it'll be fun to shoot them anyway, and maybe we'll get lucky and catch a bullet. All right, here we go. All right, obviously, you know, uh, shooting video would be complete without shooting a watermelon. So uh, let's shoot a watermelon. All right, that watermelon was pretty cool. Now we've got a cantaloupe down there. Let's see, uh, see how much we can blow up this cantaloupe. All right, it seems like we just clipped the edge of that cantaloupe, but next up we got a, a pineapple, and then we got something that I think will be a lot of fun after that. Uh, so. Let's hit this pineapple and then we'll get to a little more interesting target. All right, our last target. We've got a steel plate down there. We're gonna see if this punches through or turns into a soup bowl or what happens. It says it's rifle rated, but I don't think it's 50 BMG rated, but we'll find out. I'm really eager to see Hopefully you guys can see we have some fog rolling in. Can't really do anything about that, but we're gonna give it a shot. <clears throat> so it cratered but this is a cheap steel target and uh i figured it would do a lot more than that but it just barely cratered it that's still a usable target <laughs> i'm shocked <laughs> <laughs> 